Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for August 6th through the 12th. For those of you who are new to this channel and who don't know, I do a weekly giveaway every week. I give something away. And I need your help this week, guys. I'm not sure what I want to do. Thinking of either giving away a couple of my older used beat up tarot decks because some people like the idea of inheriting a tarot deck from another reader. Both these decks have all the cards, they're complete decks. I just do a lot of readings and so they get beat up pretty bad. And since I do readings on camera and I do a free card of the day on Amethyst Angelite Facebook and Instagram, I take pictures of the cards, I post them, so they need to be in good shape. So these guys, it's time for them to go. Um, so either I was going to give them away. Or I was thinking of giving away a 15-minute private reading. Comment and let me know. What do you think the giveaway should be? And then check out Amethyst Angelite on um, Facebook and Instagram on Monday. And then I'm going to announce what the giveaway will be on Monday. I'll announce the winner of last week's giveaway. And you'll be able to enter for your chance to win this week's giveaway. So good luck to you guys. I'll be tallying up the votes pretty soon here. So comment and let me know. All right, Cancer. So I'm asking for a card for Monday and Tuesday for my Cancer friends. There is your Monday, Tuesday. Now Wednesday, Thursday. I'm asking for Wednesday, Thursday. There's your Wednesday, Thursday. Now Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There is your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, of course, we have to pull a love card because everybody wants to know about love. What's going on with love? I'm getting seven for love. So some of you cancers are going to have to be listening to your intuition here. Something might be going on in your relationship or you might have a gut feeling that you're about to meet somebody important. Whatever it may be, I think the message here for some of you this week is going to be to listen to your intuition. Now, this is a general reading, guys, so it's not going to hit home for every single one of you. You might need a private reading. Uh, check out your, your other signs, you know, a sun sign, star sign, moon sign, a sun sign, rising sign, all that good stuff. Some weeks will resonate more than others. Now, um, when I was shuffling your cards and I was connecting with the Cancer energy, I was feeling some anger, like just some real serious anger. So I think some of you guys are going to be processing some anger this week. It might have to do with family for some of you. So just if you're a little grumpy or grouchy, try to take it easy um, and, and just know that there might be something going on with the energy. I'm not an astrologer, so I can't give you the breakdown of what's going on exactly with the planets and how that's affecting cancer sign people but some of you may be dealing with anger this week so here we have your um your uh card for monday tuesday so for monday tuesday we have two of wands and so this is going to be basically a, it could be a card about an opportunity somebody's kind of reaching out and giving you a chance to come into uh, like a side business or an investment it could be a job offer it could be a promotion but typically for me when this card comes up I feel like it has to do more with a partnership like you might be talking to someone and you guys are coming um, to an agreement about starting a business together for some of you it might be some self-employment venture that you're venturing out on or it could be a partnership in terms of like uh in, in a current relationship you might be laying out new agreements or guidelines as far as how finances are going to go or who's contributing what but this to me feels like working with someone as a team or an offer coming in to to work together and to move forward but the thing about the wand cards guys they're cards about action they're cards about like putting forth the effort so um they're also cards that have to do with the quick movement of time so whatever this is 
You know, I always say with the wands cards, there you snooze, you lose. So you don't want to sit on a, the decision for a long time. Really, really examine your, your options and, and assess whatever risks may be involved. But this can be a beneficial opportunity for you. But it is definitely one where it's going to require that you're putting forth work, that you're putting forth effort. So your card for Wednesday, Thursday, Cancer here is Ace of Pentacles, which really kind of confirms this, right? Because I was saying how I felt like this opportunity for a lot of you is going to have to do with business or finances. And Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning in terms of money, in terms of finance, uh, work opportunity or career. So um, this for a lot of you Cancers, maybe this could be more so where uh, you were blocked in some way with finances or within your career and that's being lifted. I did talk a little bit last week in some of the videos about Saturn and the cycle um, that it was making and how it was ending like this long time block for a lot of us, maybe over a decade. So you might see the beginning signs in the middle of the week where this energy is finally starting to shift forward for you and you're getting... Um, a chance to really shine, to be seen, to be known, to be acknowledged. So if you do have anger energy, Cancer, um, maybe that's why the wands were coming up too, because the wands are fire, right? So you may be taking some of this anger and channeling it to move forward. So I think for some of you, the energy you might hear be that you're just, you're starting off the week that you're just, you're over it. You're sick of the way things have been. You're tired of it. You want to go in a new direction and you've just had it. And you're like, this is it. I'm getting up. I'm doing something about it. But whatever the way that this opportunity is coming in for you, uh, you seem to have a lot of fire moving forward and a, and a positive new beginning. So this is like a nice little re uh, re uh, affirming card or confirming card. So your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you have another Wands card. This is Nine of Wands. And sometimes people see this um, card and they might freak out a little bit. Uh, Nine of Wands isn't necessarily negative, but it does mean you're learning from experience. Like you might start having things pile up on you. Here you have this new opportunity. You have this new beginning. You might be moving forward with planting your seeds or planting and you start thinking of the things that might be, maybe it came and talk, might be, maybe might go wrong, um, or you start anticipating troubles that might come up as you're moving forward with this new partnership or relationship or career opportunity. And you may start freaking out a little bit. You may be a little bit on edge, like waiting for the next uh, problem that's going to happen or waiting for something to go wrong. Now, this can work in your benefit. This can work in your favor if you're able to take whatever you're anticipating and prepare for it. It could be a method of planning ahead as opposed to, um, you know, being in the energy of like worrying and, and oh, I'm not going to do it because it's not going to work. Okay, well, you're right. Maybe that could be a problem in terms of whatever you're anticipating is going to be a problem. Maybe you're right that that issue may be a problem. But what can you do to be prepared for it, right? So some of this could require some creative thinking, just being ready, being on your toes. Like I said, with the wand cards, it's you have potential for great success, but it, it all depends on what you put into it. So this weekend might be a time for you where you're starting to plan and think about that, where you're trying to figure out what needs to be done right? How can I be better prepared? How can I guard myself? How can I protect myself in moving forward in this opportunity? Um, I know cancers, you guys, you know, relationships are super important for you. Family is super important for you. So for some of you, this anger might be around, you know, some of you might feel like your family is putting a lot of responsibility on you. And you might want a little bit more of like equal contribution. Uh, you might feel like everything is on your shoulders and that's not fair, but then there's like new beginning here and then maneuvering that moving forward, working that out, working the details out moving forward. For some of you cancers, it might just be where 
you really want to provide for your family and you're frustrated because you've had a hard time with that but again new opportunity coming in uh, so whatever it is that's been frustrating you you may have a lot of anger about it going into the beginning of the week because like I said I felt anger as I was connecting with the cards and so uh, just understand that anger can be a positive tool you can take it and use it as fuel to move forward just try not to let it consume you try not to let it make you blow up and you know get mad or shout at people and uh, use it in your advantage because here you know nine of wands it nine of wands is like you've got a lot but you're also an ability where you're able to plan ahead or protect yourself or use whatever you're going through as an advantage or to turn it around in your favor for yourself and for your plans so the love card for the week cancer we have free yourself it's time to take back control of your life okay now this is a general reading so it's going to mean different things for different ones of you for some of you if you're in a toxic relationship then absolutely this card means get the heck out of there um, especially if you're with somebody who's being abusive towards you whether it's verbally or physically or emotionally if someone is harming you you need to get the heck out of there especially if there's little kids involved you don't want your kids being in a home where they're in danger okay so start planning or start thinking about ways in which you can get help and get to safety um, there's a lot of organizations out there to help people who are in dangerous domestic situations uh, for other ones of you who might be in a relationship and you're like well my relationship's good and it's healthy and I'm happy so this card doesn't apply to me the way in which this card might apply to you is maybe there's an aspect of the relationship that you're obsessing about too much maybe there's certain areas in the relationship where you're feeling insecure or you're blaming yourself or you're obsessing over you know well my partner did this and what did this mean and what did that mean so this card might mean that it's time to stop obsessing about certain aspects of yourself or stop obsessing about the relationship so that things can move forward a little more freely for those of you who are single right um this could mean that it's time to free yourself from whatever limitations you've put yourself around mentally you know are you still hung up on an ex well it's time to free yourself from clinging to that ex energy uh are you really really limiting yourself on finding this person because you have really strict requirements like this person has to be between this age and that age and and this height and they have to be you know this race or or, or this religion and also some of those things might be very important to you are you limiting yourself you know because I'm just going to put it out there. You might meet somebody of the same race or the same religion, but they still may not have the same priorities as you, right? Because sometimes those are things that people put upon themselves as a label or an identity or even a mask, right? To hide this other person beneath that mask. So maybe start approaching your relationships more so by looking for people that have shared principles uh, shared beliefs shared values uh, are you limiting yourself in that like you're spending a lot of time alone are you isolating yourself have you put yourself in like this uh, little fence or this little cage where you're not going out and people can't get in so if you're very lonely that's the one thing about uh, loneliness it's like we want to be left alone because we're lonely and then it's like this never-ending cycle like leave me alone I'm lonely right we're just trapped in this cycle so um, it's time to break out of that it's time to break out of that I would say overall the message for this in love for cancer this week is it's time to break out of your comfort zone Whatever you've been doing in your romantic life, it's time to try something a little different, something a little new. And for some of you, it may feel scary, right? It may feel scary because you're coming out of this little world that you're used to. Again, guys, in general reading, it's not going to be 100% for each of you. Um, I'm surprised sometimes people will comment or, you know, whatever about how, like, it was so off or it was cliche or, oh, this was so general. Well, yeah, it's going to be general because it's a general reading, you know. Some of the videos have like 12,000 views on them and I'm not going to be able to give 
100% information for 12,000 people or even 100 people, whatever it is. So check out your other videos for your, you know, sun sign, star sign, moon sign, rising sign, ascendant sign. Some weeks those will resonate more. There's also a few choose your own deck readings on the channel. Some of those may resonate with you. I'm going to do another choose it your own reading in a couple of days. So subscribe, hit the little bell button for the notification, and then you'll get a notification when that video is up. In some weeks, the choose your own reading will resonate with you more. Um, and so uh, that will be up in a couple of days, like I said. So cancer... Um, Good, good news here in that you're moving forward, you're fed up, you're, you're moving towards better things. Just try to hold on and try to control that anger and use it in your favor instead of letting it consume you. And let me know guys, comment and let me know what do you want for the giveaway for this week. Do you want the cards? Do you want the um, free personal 15 minute reading? And uh, go to Amethyst Angelite Facebook and Instagram to see you the announcement for what the giveaway will be. And also to get a free card each day. I do post a card there each day, guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Till next week, Cancer, you take care of yourselves.